Hello, this is how I make a line distribution video version 2. Make the layout first. I add photo, name, time and bar. After that pre-compose the name it, time bar. Adjust comp size. Expression and effects. To set the time inactive of this comp, add effects and presets, expression controls, point control to the time layer and name it time active. This control has two outputs. The first is the time and the second is the active control which sets it on or off. The value will be defined later. Now add an expression to the text of this time layer by clicking the stopwatch button while holding down the Alt key on the keyboard. Then drag this spiral icon and point to the first output value of time active. Format the value by adding to fixed 1 bars. To set the length of this bar, click this arrow symbol and select trim path. This end value is the time of this time bar divided by the maximum time obtained from the largest time of the time bar compared to other time bars later. For now, we will create a time max control with a temporary value. By adding a text layer on the line distribution comp that will be useful for ranking the system later and adding a slider control and name it time max. Lock the effects panel and link the end trim path expression on the time bar to the time max effect. And add the expression time value times 100, since the value is in percent, divided by time max. On, off effects. You can add any effect and link that effect to the second output value of time active. Essential Graphics. Essential Graphics is useful for setting and animating this time bar. First, open the Essential Graphics panel in the window. Then drag Text Source from Name Layer, Photo Layer and Time Active from Time Layer. From now on we will only work on line distribution composition. Here we will define an expression for the name and time active. For the name obtained from the layer name. So you can change the name that appears on the time bar by renaming the layer name. While the time bar expression basically counts the time like a stopwatch that is triggered by a marker. So that every odd time marker will be counted and is on, while for every odd marker, the time will stop counting and will be off. If you want to see a further explanation you can watch the previous tutorial video in the description. Then there is also an ease for on-off transitions. If you don't need it you can delete this expression. After that test the expression by creating a marker, I created a shortcut shift plus C to add a marker. Then I move this time active expression into a comment marker on this composition to make it easier if you want to change the expression later. To call the time active expression on the marker use an expression like this. Test. Now basically the time bar is ready and you can try to duplicate it and modify it. To change the time, just change the marker. To change the photo, drag the image from the project to the photo in the essential properties. To change the name on the time bar, rename the layer. You can add other properties to the time bar in essential graphics such as color, or any control. If you want to change the layout you only need to change one time bar. The result. Don't forget to set time max with the largest time. Ranking system. To sort the position from the longest time to the shortest time, add an expression to the text control. But before that, add some slider control for n or total time bar and transition time values. The value of n is obtained from the number of layers in this composition minus the number of layers that are not time bar. For the transition time the value is up to you. I set it for one second. Now we are ready to add expressions to the text for the ranking system. 
First, time data and layer index are taken from each time bar on object, R. Then sorted by time and displayed in order according to the time bar layer index which has a rank value. Also add, first, which is the time of the first rank separated by a comma which is then used for time max. Replace time max by taking the value of text. Split and take index 1 at the final time after the song is finished. Now convert the index and rank in the text to the position of each time bar. Separate the dimensions on the position, and add the expression. The position is obtained by taking the rank and the next rank for the transition animation from the index layer. The initial reference position is obtained from the position of the first layer and the distance between the time bar is obtained from the distance between the first and second layer positions. Then the position based on the rank is obtained from the initial position plus the rank times the distance between the time bars. If there is a change in ranking, the transition of the old position and the new position is calculated. Similar to time active, I move this expression to a comment marker to make it easier to change later and leave the index calculation because each layer has a different value. Copy the expression to all time bar layers. Finally all the settings are done. You can change the initial position of the time bar by changing the index or the order of the layers in this composition. And must pay attention to the position of the first and second layers because they affect all layers. If you want, you can add a slider control on the control layer to set the starting position and distance between the time bars. The result. This is how I made a line distribution video, using a template I made and some tips. You can edit it directly but, usually I start with Premiere Pro for the timing and graphics that I screenshot for my color bar. I transcribed audio so that I get the lyrics and the timing roughly or I add lyrics or captions in the SRT format that I get from music videos sometimes. I added images with different color labels for different speakers. I select the label with the same color and copy it to the time bar in After Effects. I added markers to the time bar with a plug-in to make it faster but you can do it manually. And this is the result. After that I composed the name is Time Bar. Adjust comp size. Expression and effects. To set the time inactive of this comp, add effects and presets. Expression controls. Point control to the time layer and name it. Time active. This control has two outputs. Thanks for watching my video.